Hello everyone, I had a little bit of time to make this tutorial finally. So I just released um, some of the big features. So uh, I created a teaser already for the GSAP animation, select animation system. Uh, I updated the features as well. So you guys can see GSAP um, animations. I'm going to update this list because I already <laughs> removed and changed some of the animations. But this gives some idea how many... Uh, uh, different animation presets or utility presets exist here so not all of them just makes the animation but changes the animation in a way so you can set up anything you want okay so let's see how it works i create this example so there are some container buttons by the way the system works with the section container block or div and these are the elements we use all the time to build the websites. So I think it is fine uh, supporting only these four elements, at least for now. So I want to keep it this way, at least for now. So let's add something. Slide in left. Okay. So first we make slide in left. So the default is scroll through. Okay. Scroll trigger through every animation is scroll uh, trigger when we add it if we want to make it scroll trigger false we just need to add the scroll trigger false and it will become a entrance animation like the moment you open the page or refresh the page the animation will play okay and actually we can even make loop animations if you make scroll false and loop true it will just loop the animation again and again and again you can change the duration as well we can make it really fast or really slow or yeah i added some durations like for now i added these presets like if you guys think uh, adding more will suit the uh, some purpose i don't know some edge cases uh, tell me about it okay and let's disable the scroll false i want to stay on the scroll trigger a bit more let's add the markers uh, when you make uh, scroll trigger animations i would recommend like adding a marker so you know where when it starts when it ends like this page is empty but when you have like tons of designs around it uh, you need to know like you need to align some stuff right so when green touches green start touches start uh, and touches end that's where the animation happens and we can change this as well for example let's say I can move the start really late, but it doesn't even make sense. We want, if we want to move the start early, we want to make this scroll start, scro scroller start go down. Okay, that that means start early. Okay, so for that, just make the start. Let's say ninety percent. This will go down, and the animation will start really early. Okay, and if you want to make it uh, end really late, same thing, uh, like opposite side scroll scroll red n needs to go up here okay so so it ends late or early i mean it, it depends on your setup and for that we, let's make it 20 percent and this red will go up let's make it 10 percent actually and 10 percent okay nice maybe i should add the zero percent as well i i, I am still like uh, working on this presets let's see for example, maybe this 0% needs to exist as well. Why not? On some edge cases, it might, it might, uh, we, we may need it. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So as you guys can see, this scroll trigger, easy to set up. You don't need to code anything. You don't need to like uh, work with like nesting and stuff. Like I, I still do think like these elements will be useful for some edge cases i because i am i know from myself like i'm using time to time but this new system is amazing like because it is so simple it is so easy to use you just need to select your animations and set it up that's it and after you are done with the animation you can just remove the markers that's it and your animation is ready you're right perfect now we can make like tons more by the way for example let's let's uh, remove this start and let's add the markers again this time i'm gonna add stagger so we can stagger some stuff for example if 
we, uh, we, we added the Stagron container, okay, and we have uh, child elements. This could be like container, rich text, whatever, all element type, doesn't matter. First child element, right? Let's see. Now all of them will come one after another because we added stagger. So if we make the stagger less, let's do it like that. I think that's it. Yeah. They will be a little, little, little bit closer to each other. Nice. Let's make the start and start on the middle. Yeah, let's make it default. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> what do you guys think? Isn't, isn't this amazing? Isn't this like great? Like it is so simple. I don't even know like if there is any simpler method to build GSAP, build scroll trigger animations. Like this is the ultimate, ultimate like simple uh, way of doing animations now. I'm, I, I already started to use it. Like I can't show it sadly. It is on staging. But when it is public, uh, I will ask the agency. So I already started using on client projects even now and i'm pretty sure like i will start to use on all projects oh, of course like the, the the problem with bricks interactions are we need to make too much click that's the problem that's why i like i i kept adding new stuff i kept adding like a new features for animation system it is not that like i i it it, it, it is not just because I wanted it, but we I have to do it because like the, the Bricks animation system is good, great, but the problem is too complex. I mean, you need to click interaction for each element. You need to click add. You need to select your uh, event. You need to select your action. You need to select your animation. You need to select your speed or if you need to, you need to select the uh, target self or you, you need to select it run only once or not. How many times did I click? Did you guys count it? <laughs> That's the problem. Okay. That's the problem. That's why I want to, uh, I added this system. Like this was on my mind, but I didn't know before. Like when I started to add these elements. Okay. Like look at that. These are the all the elements I developed now. And each element, uh, I it taught me like a little bit of the how Bricks uh, PHP backend works and this is the product of that okay and that's it let's see if i need to show more we can make like uh, C there are tons of tons of css 3d stuff as well do i have like 3d yeah there are like flip 3d let's see let's remove the slide left oh look at that it is ah it is that's so weird like there are tons of presets I, some of the presets like i give the ideas like which presets i need i told the ai like to like i need fading zooming slide and stuff like i give the some simple uh, examples and after that it just generated the rest like i give one example and rest of them coming from ai that's why i didn't test it all of them please do test it okay please do test it let's test another thing I edit this but didn't test it yet okay so this is background position i want to test it background position bottom to top yeah let's add a background as well we can create like simple simple um parallax okay we can create simple parallax let's select something yeah this, this, is, this is a good good one okay let's see what will happen oh look at that it works it works nice like it is it is possible to create tons of different parallax with this uh background presets uh please do test it so it, of course it could be scroll falls as well like on entrance to why not it is possible but it, it could be i mean the parallax is best when it works with the scroll yeah yeah i think i think that's we are thinking the same i'm pretty sure so test this stuff as well like i said there are tons of presets i don't want to make this like a video too long and let's check the ai gsap so what what's about it like what, what how what what is the ai gsap <laughs> weird isn't it so let's add um some section let's give some space as well so we can see the animation 
and let's add some buttons text okay okay now we have our section i added a system prompt the system prompt has a gsep okay i told it to like write css syntax animated code works and these are the examples like you can write with it and i gave the top of that i gave the data animate system like how the how the system uh, abstraction system works so ai knows what the code for the data animate okay i added this stuff the system prompt i think except the code except the javascript code uh, i added this defaults uh, i added this defaults as well to the system prompt so you guys can you, you guys should see it after the update like it, it is included in the default prompts okay so let's check the at the gsap element this is the code nestable element this is the other new element let's check the front end good so it, it creates a nesting we we can nest anything under it okay and we can give some prompts let's select the gsap and tell what should we tell slide in from left scale zero to one okay why not like let's keep it simple for now and after that it will write gsap compatible our data animate system compatible code because of the system prompt let's see oh nice and the animation comes up because it is like language just semantic you can tell whatever you want like i can tell i like it but let's make it crazy add tons of stuff let's see if it will work when, when i say stuff like that like it is for 50 percent like coin coin flip sometimes works sometimes doesn't <laughs> but it is like it is ai i mean if you i don't know like you, you guys can create great stuff and same time you guys can create like uh, stupid stuff as well like it is ai what do you expect oh not bad nice let's check what did it add so it added translate 3d rotate scale okay and after that it is resetting that opacity okay background color okay box shadow start and position and border radius nice oh clip pad that's that's where it is this coming from like clip pad oh maybe i should add clip pad here as well do i have any clip pad Oh, I do have a couple, couple clip pads. Yeah, we have a couple clip pad on the um, container as well. We can we can add clip pad stuff here. Okay, clip pad, morphine, morphine. You guys tested. So not bad. So coin flip. <laughs> we won this time. Like it doesn't it it, it doesn't generate uh, stuff like this all the time. Sometimes it just breaks it. Okay. That's it. That's the video. I just wanted to make a short video about it. If you guys don't know, just download the SNN Bricks and Bricks Builder, and you don't need anything else. This is just the child theme, completely free, and it will stay free forever, probably. <laughs> we will see. I I plan to create some premium stuff, but for like training and like consulting and like other stuff. I want to keep this theme free forever. That's my thinking. Anyway, see you guys on the next video. Bye.